Hello everyone, four DIYers here back with a tutorial video. Now in this particular video here I'll be doing a demonstration on how to change the spark plugs on your vehicle. Now the vehicle I am using in this video is a 1997 BMW 540i. Now this will be a generic video but if anybody wants to use this for reference if they have the same vehicle or same engine, uh, this is equipped with a M62 V8. Now this also applies to the M60 V8 as well which is the older model of the uh, M62. And this is found on the 5 series, 8 series, and 7 series BMW models. Now depending on how many cylinders your vehicle is equipped with, now this particular vehicle here, as I mentioned a minute ago, is an 8 cylinder. Uh, therefore, 8 spark plugs are required to be replaced. Now if you do have a 6 cylinder, you'll have 6 spark plugs. Uh, 4 cylinder will be 4 spark plugs, but the 4 cylinder also depends too, because I have seen models in the past where a four cylinder is equipped with eight spark plugs as well. Now as for choice of spark plugs, that can vary. There is different types available. Uh, I normally go with the uh, just the platinum style plugs. I've always had good luck with them in the past and uh, they tend to go for a longer maintenance interval as well. Now uh, I know there is some um, different opinions out there based on which one is the higher performance plug. Now there is cop copper plugs which are the conventional style and uh, they are known to have the best uh, electrical transfer qualities as opposed to any of the other materials out there. Now there is also iridium ones as well you can purchase. Now in this particular application here this vehicle is equipped with coil packs uh, per cylinder. Now I've already moved the engine cover off here. Some vehicles uh, they may be different it depends. Some are exposed some are hidden behind covers. Uh, in order to remove this cover here you will have uh, kind of little square hidden holes which you'll have to pop out with a screwdriver. Once you pop those caps out, you'll have two exposed 10 millimeter bolts in there. You remove those two bolts and you pull the cover off. Now that is if something you are doing that is vehicle specific. So basically the same vehicle I am using in this video. Now for others, now that will depend on how to gain access to them. It may vary, so that's something you will have to look up on your own. Now with the coils per cylinder, basically what you have to do is you have to remove each of these individual coils in order to gain access to the spark plugs below. Now on the other application there, you will have either a common coil pack which all the spark plugs are fed from that one big coil or you will have a distributor. Now the distributors now on vehicles are becoming very rare to find uh, so you won't tend to have that type of application. As you can see here these are the plugs I did purchase. These are Bosch Platinum Plus 4s. Now the Plus 4 meaning it does have four electrodes around the uh, conductor on the spark plug itself. Not all spark plugs have that. Some have two and so some have the single style as well. Now this does depend on your vehicle, what is required for replacement. Some vehicles do run better with uh, say a copper style plug and some do run better with a platinum style plug. It depends what the manufacturer has set the vehicle up for. How to remove the, uh, basically the wiring harness from here. Now again, this will depend on what type of vehicle you do have. You just want to pop that clip up and then just rock the wire back and forth and you'll pull it out. Then in order to remove the coil pack, you will have to remove these 10 mil nuts. Now I've already loosened them off. Just to show you how this is done here. Once you've done that, you simply pull the coil straight out and you can see right down in there you will gain access to the spark plug inside there. Now to show you the difference between the other style here, as you can see here this is an older model vehicle. Uh, this is actually my 1984 BMW 733i. Now this is equipped with an inline six engine. So you do have six spark plugs, one per cylinder. Now this one here does have a distributor on it, which is uh, then fed by separate wires to each spark plug. As you can see here, here's the distributor up at the front and you can see the spark plug wires do come off here and you will have the spark plugs down on the side of the head itself. Now, now in order to remove the spark plugs, it is the exact same process as on the other vehicle I'm doing as well, but to gain access to them in order to remove these wires, it's slightly different. Now with these wires here, what you want to do is you can't simply just pull straight back on them because there is the chance of um, breaking the electrical connection inside these uh, plastic boots. So instead what you want to do here is when removing it, you also want to twist it at the same time. And as you can see, you remove the boot and then inside here, it's a little harder to see, but you can see the spark plugs are down in this hole right in there. So as again, I mentioned exact same process to remove the spark plugs, just a slightly different process to gain access to them. Once I've removed the coils here from the head, 
You can see the spark plugs are quite a ways down there, so in order to gain access to them, we will need an extension for this. Now, if you are working on a BMW, as I mentioned earlier, if this is vehicle specific, you will require a, a 5 8 socket and a six inch long extension. Now, this obviously does depend if you are working on another vehicle, it will depend on what type of socket is required. Now, they can vary between sizes. Deep sockets are always used for spark plugs. Now, if you are working on a hemispherical head type vehicle, as this is here, so you see the spark plugs do go down and the valve cover does go all the way around. And you will have this small axis hole uh, right directly in the center of the head here. Sometimes there is a little bit of oil residue in there. That can be perfectly normal because the gaskets do sweat from time to time. Uh, if you do find there is an excessive amount on that, uh, obviously your gaskets will need to be replaced. Now if you do find that there is an excessive amount of oil in the head here, now you want to make sure that it doesn't get into your engine once you take the spark plugs out. And you also want to make sure, especially if you're in a hemispherical head pattern, sometimes little debris can fall inside there. I know I did find some little plastic pieces in here. You can use a vacuum to clean that out. Now as for the oil, don't use a vacuum to clean that out. You want to just take a piece of paper towel and maybe on the end of a screwdriver, just poke it in there, let it soak up, and then remove most of the amount of it. If there's a little tiny bit, um, normally your engine will just burn that away, but you don't want any excessive amounts going into your combustion chamber. Now I've already started to loosen off the spark plug here, so there is no issue with loosening it off. Um, in order to loosen these, they are a counterclockwise turn. Uh, to tighten them, they are a clockwise turn. Now you want to make sure you're always turning in the right direction, because you can, if you do over tighten them or end up going the wrong direction, you can strip the threads inside the head here. So that's something I want to make note of as well. Now if that does happen, uh, you can go and that can be repaired, or if it uh, depends on the severity of the situation, you might end up having to uh, replace the head, so that can get very costly, so I always want to make sure about that. Now another thing here, as you can see, these ones are coming off fairly easy, so there isn't a problem. I've already got it loosened past uh, one full turn. If you do find it's still coming out quite hard, that can be from carbon posits inside the cylinder head, or that can be on the threads of the spark plug itself that are exposed inside the combustion chamber. Now if that is the situation, now that can depend on your driving style, or the way your engine is running, of why that occurs but if you do find that it is occurring what you can do is loosen it out one turn then go back and then tighten up the spark plug and then once you go past that a little ways again back it back out a little further and what this will do is actually work back and forth and clean the threads off so you don't risk damaging the threads in the head itself now this is something that can be more prone to an aluminum head because they are a softer material as now once you pull the spark plug out here as you can see what i was mentioning about the carbon buildup there's a slight amount of carbon buildup on there but it's not a big deal nothing i would ever worry about but when your threads are exposed they can bind up in there and carbon is a very hard material and it will destroy the threads in the head now as for the deep socket here now as i mentioned earlier it will depend on what size is required for your spark plug and the other thing with this socket is it does have a rubber grommet inside so you can see that the spark plug isn't falling out. So that makes it great when removing it. If you are having trouble and you don't have access to one of those rubber grommets inside the spark plug socket, you can use, uh, say, either a magnet or a mechanic's claw and just grab on the tip of the spark plug and then pull it out. Now, another point with spark plugs as well is you want to make sure these spark plugs are delicate and you don't want to drop them on the ground because you can risk the chance of breaking them. Now, when reinstalling the new spark plugs, you want to start them in by hand always. You don't want to start them with the ratchet because this can also risk the chance of cross-threading it. And obviously, this is a given, but never use an impact gun, uh, whether it is removing them or tighten them back up because you can also risk the uh, chance of damaging the threads in the head here. So once you got them snugged up, just by hand, then you just want to continue and go ahead with the, make sure you're going in the right direction and you just want to continue to tighten them up. Now, as for tightening them up, now this will depend. Uh, there is torque specifications for these, which I will post in the description below. Now, if you are experienced with uh, turning a wrench here, you can have a feel for it and just tighten them up um, the way you think is required or you can go ahead and just to be sure you can torque spec them. Now the torque specs will depend on what type of spark plugs you have. Now there is two different types. There will be one with a tapered base and there will be one with a gasket base. Now these particular ones here do have a gasket base as you can see. And the other thing which also does make a difference is what size the spark plug is 
and also what type of material it is going into. So what type of head material it is. So that could... And once you're done reinstalling the spark plugs, you can then go ahead and put your coil packs back on or in the other situation, your spark plug wires. Now as for the spark plug wires, they do snap back on. Uh, the coil packs are a different scenario, at least on this particular application. Maybe they do vary between makes and models. Uh, they're just a flush fit. They sit on top and then once you tighten down the bolts, that's basically how it works. And obviously, if there is bolts on your coil packs, now you can go ahead and torque them down to spec. Now, obviously, that does depend on make and model of vehicle as well. Now, when reinstalling the boot, basically what you want to do here is just simply take the boot, make sure it's on top of the spark plug, and just push it in. And you should be able to hear either click or you can kind of hear a serrated edge going on there because uh, the connection on top of the spark plug, it's snapping on top of it. Now, if you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them. Also, please subscribe to my channel and like my video. Thank you for watching.